Richard White from Man and Machine, and today we're going to look at one of the new features within Revit 2022, which will be the ability to split uh, schedules over multiple sheets. So we're going to start off in um, our Revit workspace, um, working on Revit 2022 today, and looking at the way in which we can, initially we're going to start creating a schedule um, against this tester project that we've been building for ourselves. Um, and then we're going to see a um, nice and easy way of actually putting the schedules now easily accessible across multiple sheets and they're interlinked with one another. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to quickly create a, uh, a brand new door uh, schedule for this project um, with a few key parameters in it just to see what we're actually going to get out of it in the, in the uh, wider view. So let's add some of these key bits into here. do need a door mark in here so that'll be useful to have let's just reorder some of these into this space so let's put the mark first and then we'll put our family and type our height and width frame material and let's grab a, um, a fire rating as well just to add a little bit of extra detail and obviously this schedule could be um, of any size um, that you want to put together I'm just going to go OK and see what we get out of this uh, schedule as we go through. Now, clearly, the last two columns aren't populated in this particular instance, but we do have a, a large number of doors within this project. I might just add another um, field into here, maybe look at adding a level in. Um, and we'll stick that right up at the top so that we can see which level each one of these doors is um, sitting on. So we can see that we have a number of doors within this project and historically you would basically be dragging this uh, schedule straight onto a door on, onto a, uh, a sheet um, and you provide that door schedule through your Revit environment. So we're going to do that first. Let me find my door schedule that I've just created. I'm going to drop that straight onto this sheet and we can immediately see that this schedule is, is fairly long. Um, we could probably split this across um, across this sheet and make it work but we may also want to provide some um, graphical output with regard to things like door elevations onto this space as well we may also want to split this um, in terms of the levels um, but in in this uh, straight instance we we would maybe want to split this across two sheets now if we were doing this um, prior to Revit 2022, the likelihood is you would probably have to create a schedule which um, contained uh, almost like a master schedule, contained all your doors, then you would duplicate that schedule and then split it by, by level or maybe by a particular door mark and end up having two schedules that you would actually have to place on each one of your sheets and they wouldn't necessarily be linked. So as soon as you started adding extra doors in, it, you, you know, there's the possibility of missing those off. The good thing now is we can split those very, very quickly and easily using one of the new tools that sits within the scheduling area. So I'm just going to delete that schedule as, a, a, as an example. I'm going to go to my door sh schedule and then up at the top over here is this new function called split and place. Using this split and place, place function we can, assuming that we already have sheets placed within our project that we want to move these onto, we can automatically select, select a number of sheets and then down the bottom we can either split these sheets in, uh, evenly or we can create a custom field. I'm just going to split them ease, uh, evenly for the time being just to show that these will place automatically. I'm going to go split and place um, and what it will do is it will jump to my first sheet, um, allow me to place half of the schedule and if I go to my second door schedule sheet you'll see that the second half of that schedule is there. Now, when we've got them on the sheets, we can still sub, you know, subdivide these further onto the sheet. So I can use the split command and split this into more sections, but it's not actually affecting the split over to the other sheet. So it's still working that way. Or we can lengthen each one of these um, to uh, capture more information. So we're actually capturing um, a lot more information on maybe our first sheet we go back to our second sheet and you can see that this is now responding and the fact that we don't have uh, as many uh, listed on this space. So the good thing is these are now dynamically linked sheets 
um, and these can be um, modified and tweaked as you see fit and then you can populate the rest of the sheet with your elevations as you need to. So that's the end of that um, area, hope that's been helpful.